This past weekend, 63 intrepid rally teams tackled the 2018 version of Missouri's Rally in the 100 Acre Wood. Because most of us see racing on TV as a gopher-broke winner crash enterprise, it's easy to believe that anyone who didn't win, or at least win their class, might go home disappointed. I have to report that was not the case this past weekend on several levels. There are, of course, the journeys traveled by 63 race teams. They came from all over the United States. Some took multiple days just to get to the host city of Salem, Missouri, in the heart of the Mark Twain National Forest. There were also upwards of 300 volunteers making similar journeys, though most of them came from closer by. And then there's the organizer group, whose journey started six months ago as they laid out what roads the 63 racers would race on and what the 300 volunteers would be doing to make this event safe and fun. There are a thousand adventures along the journeys taken requiring teamwork and late nights, whether wrenching on a car or poring over maps, and presenting to county commissioners for permission to close the racing roads. The racers, the workers, the volunteers, even the communities and the spectators all have a vested interest in this weekend being fun and safe and competitive. And the connection between these is an intimate and unusual one. Friends are made and relationships renewed every time one of these events occurs, and there are dozens around the country throughout the year. The journeys on race week entail organizers and all their planning, racers tweaking their cars or trying new tires to improve performance, and thrilled volunteers angling to get a chance for an autograph of their favorite rallyist. Sometimes it all works out, and sometimes it doesn't. The journey is the process the destination, the result. Well, what are the destination of all these journeys? Well, the organizers want to know that their efforts have been rewarded by safe competition, good public relations, and at least some appreciation of all the work they put in. Volunteers await a great celebration and awards with free food, free beer and soda, and a chance to rub shoulders with the sports luminaries. The racers, of course, want to stand on that winner's podium and celebrate. Destinations, results, if you will, are things I can be satisfied with, or, or not. Journeys are exercises that can give me joy and make me happy regardless of the outcome. Some racers' journeys this past weekend bore out the desired destination. And some did not. Either way, there were stories of engine swaps in the middle of the night, narrow misses of trees and deer and turkeys at racing speed, workers who stayed out with crippled cars in the middle of the night until their crews could find them, new friends made, scrambling to place volunteers where needed just in time to start the racing. Ah, the journey! We don't always win. Sometimes we don't even finish. Sometimes the best plans of the organizers are clobbered by unbeatable weather conditions. And sometimes the racing simply has to be called off due to unruly spectators. But whatever the final destination reached, there has been that marvelous journey that bonds us all together in these factions. I came to this sport some 48 years ago, and I admit I've sometimes been obsessed with the destination. Winning is satisfying. But it's really the journey that's kept me here all these years. The people, the stories, the level of trust and camaraderie are my addiction. And I'm totally okay with that. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.